Good afternoon, friends and neighbors, and welcome to Drive Time, a virtual music quiz show presented by 91.3 WYEP. Now, please welcome the host of Drive Time, Joey Spihar. Good afternoon, and welcome to Drive Time, WYEP's musical quiz show. I'm your host, Joey Spihar. Well, let's welcome our contestants for today. We've got a real treat for you with a pair of incredibly talented Pittsburgh musicians. Please welcome to the show, Brittany Chantel and Live from the City. Thanks for joining us. Great to see you guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Well, I think it's going to be a fun day. And if you like what you see, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. We'll start the game with a series of classic album covers. Now, all you have to do is take a look and guess what the album is. Each correct answer in this round is worth one point, and Brittany won our coin toss before the show. So, Brittany, you go first. Take a look right, at this. All right. Yo. <laughs> um, wow. feel like live knows too and he can steal right he can steal absolutely oh. rules are all over the place in this game okay okay um wow wow i have no idea alive what do you think <sighs> yo <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, if you want to know what's funny, I feel like I've heard the music from whatever this is, but I feel like I've never seen the cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this looks. It's such a fly jacket too. Right, that's the thing. I'm, I'm like, I'm so invested in the outfit. I'm almost forgetting to take a guess, but like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Well, <laughs> that's all right. We're off to a good start. It is Al Green and Let's Stay Together. Yep. Are you serious? This, it was a big yes. one for Reverend Green, and it produced his biggest pop hit, the sultry title track, Let's Stay Together. Now, it peaked at number eight on the pop charts, but began a run of six albums that hit number one on the soul charts. Question two goes to Live from the City first. Take a look at this one. Yo. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking in the in the corner and I'm kind of like, ah. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a shot in the in the dim. Is this a Frank Sinatra thing? Is this Frank Sinatra? It is not Frank Sinatra, although. I can't be certain. Maybe one of those pictures is old blue eyes, but but the music is definitely not Frank Sinatra. Brittany, what do you think? So I'm just gonna have to take a wild guess. Fountain of Youth? So close yet so far away. It is Fountains of Wayne with Welcome ah. Interstate <laughs> Managers. Uh, these New Jersey natives got a Grammy nomination for a song from that album called Stacy's Mom. Uh, just goes to show you that art awards are really never fair. Question three <laughs> goes to Brittany first. Take a look wow. at this one. So what's hilarious is like, this looks like it would be the cover of a Maggie Rogers album, but. I would say Maggie Rogers is probably a fan of this artist. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, see, like, I really feel like I should know this because this definitely has come up on my either Maggie Rogers radio on my Spotify or yo, this isn't King Princess, is it? No. Oh, well, I'm going to have to pass it then. I have to pass it. Live, what do you think? Someone's got to get some points in this game. Yo. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. We are bricking right now. Let me, uh. <laughs> All right. So, look, 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 look. I want to, can I ask for a clue? <laughs> sure. Why not? You can ask for a clue. Um, okay. So, I heard, I heard y'all conversation. So, but I'm, I'm going to ask a question. Who's Maggie Rogers exactly? Like, what is, what, what does Maggie Rogers do that I would know? 
Oh, so Maggie Rogers, I, I, I don't know, Brittany, would you consider her a pop star? Or I would definitely consider her pop. Somebody who sure. lives she's in the like, pop world? She's like pop folk to me. Okay. And and so that person would be a fan of this person? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I'm a fan of that person. Wow. I'm not a pop star, wow. though. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it's Joni Mitchell and clouds um, stop this is hilarious it, it's a good one her second album released in 1969 features her own artwork on the cover all right last question in round one is going to go to live from the city first now I, I will say ahead of time this is probably the most recognizable one of the bunch so good luck take a look <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most recognizable one. Oh. Maybe it just depends where you went to high school. I don't know. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Um, This does not look familiar to me. I got to pass. I got to pass. I got to pass. Oh. I got to pass. All right. Um, Can I get a clue? Sure. The band's name, uh, in a way, is visible in this picture. There's something in that picture that the band is named after. Mm. And maybe you associate it with uh, tires. How about that? It's the best I can do for you. Okay. Okay. Live, do you know it? Did you just figure it out? I've heard the name before, but I, it's it's the it's the second half of the. So, oh, I'm just like thinking of all the black and white like abstract covers that I know about, and the only thing that like the only thing that keeps coming to mind for me, which I don't think it's it, is the um, Joy Division. No, it's not. But I like. I didn't going. think so. Yeah. Uh, live, do, do you want to take one more crack at it? It looked like you may have had some sort of epiphany there. Because when you said the tires, I was like, okay, hold up. Um, it's like the good. Yeah, you're on the right track. The good year. The good. <laughs> All right, yeah. you're never going to get it. No, I've heard it before. Like, ugh, like... <laughs> I was alluding to the good year blimp. And another word for a blimp is a Zeppelin. This is Led oh, Zeppelin 1, God. the debut album from Led Zeppelin. Now, yeah. this band okay. almost featured a different singer. When Jimmy Page was putting them together, he asked his friend Terry Reed to join the band. But that guy was apparently a bit of a bonehead, and he passed. And Robert oh. Plant then became one of the most iconic figures in all of rock and roll i guess that's that's the way fate works so at the end of round one we are tied uh no one has scored yet but i, I have great feelings about the way this game is gonna go anything at all can happen here on drive time wow wow before we get to round two let's get to know our contestants a bit more Brittany, you've got some new music out why don't you tell us a bit about it I do. So on February 2nd, I dropped two songs, uh, two singles, Let Me Know and Like I Don't Love You. Um, Let Me Know was actually written and co-produced by Live From The City, along with uh, Ryan M. Tedder of Serenity Sound Studios here in Pittsburgh. Um, and Like I Don't Love You was uh, produced by Ryan M. Tedder and um, written by Kate Pasico. So uh, yeah, those just dropped. I'm really excited about them. Music videos are on the way. So look, be on the lookout for those. All right, we will be on the lookout for those. Uh, but right now, it's time to get back to the game. This is round two of Drive Time. Here we will test your musical knowledge with a series of multiple choice questions. Now, each answer in this round is worth three points and live. You're going to go first uh, in round two. Smokey Robinson is pretty great on his own, but he really made an impact with his band in the 1960s. In fact, they recorded Motown's first million selling song. What was that band called? Was it The Temptations, The Miracles, The Pips, 
or the originals? Um, with his band, okay, Smokey Robinson's band. Smokey Robinson and his band. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the answer is B. Smokey Robinson and the Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. It's correct. Congratulations, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Now, Smokey also wrote Motown's first number one hit, the Mary Wells classic, My Guy. Question two goes to Britney first. Who was the first female singer to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Was it Aretha Franklin, Janis Joplin, Stevie Nicks, or Grace Slick? So I know nothing about Grace Slick. Went off the off the jump. So, um, it's a solid I, elimination. I feel like I'm biased towards this, like of who I wanted, who I would want to be the first female singer inducted. Um, I'm gonna say, if I get this wrong, my dad's gonna be mad at me. Um, Janis Joplin. Oh, sorry, Brittany, and sorry, Brittany's dad. Why? <laughs> what do you think about this one? Oh, man. I got it down to a solid two. I got it down to a solid two, based on what I know about these four people. And I'm in this, I think I'm in the same boat as Brittany. I'm just like, yo, I wanted to be this one answer so bad, but like, I have a feeling it's not just because. That's life. I'm going to go with C. Should have trusted your feelings, my friends. It was, in fact, Aretha, Aretha Franklin. <sighs> Yo. Yo, we knew it, too. We knew it. <laughs> we well, we both knew that. It was a smart move by the Rock Hall to bring in the Queen of Soul for their second class of inductees in 1987, okay. though, the de though the gender gap still remains rather large. Question three goes to live first. Mama Told Me Not To Come was a big hit for Three Dog Night in 1970, and at the time, it was a cover of an Eric Burden song, but who actually wrote it? Was it Paul McCartney? from the Beatles, Randy Newman from himself, Jerry Goffin and Carol King, or Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Oh man. Uh, based on the year it was, Because it can only it can only be so many things. So like uh, I'm going with I'm going with D. D. I'm Brian with Wilson. D. Yeah. He wrote some great songs, but that's not one of them. Brittany, what do you think? Um. <clears throat> the the Gary the Gary Goffin is throwing me off a little bit. Um. But I think I'm gonna go with C. I'm sorry. It is, in fact, B, Randy Newman. Now, other songs written by Randy Newman made more popular by other artists include You Can Leave Your Hat On by Joe Cocker and Bette Midler's I Think It's Gonna Rain Today. Now, Randy Newman has also become a bit of a star among kids in the last 15 or 20 years for all the great songs he wrote for, uh, like, Disney and Pixar movies. Kind of a weird guy, though. Question four. Rock and roll has always been a haven for eccentrics. Now, which heavy metal icon is known for biting the head off of a dove? Is it Jim Morrison, Alice Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne, or Lemmy? I'm going to have to go with Ozzy. Ding, ding, ding. You got it right. Ozzy Osbourne did, in fact, bite the head off of more than one dubs. It was supposed to be a really nice day when Ozzy spoke in front of a group of music biz folks in March of 1981, but as he was prone to do, he polished off a bottle of brandy on the way to the meeting, and instead of releasing those doves out into the audience, he bit the heads off of two of them. And I'm pretty sure 
That is not considered sushi. So after two rounds of play, we are once again tied, but in a much better spot. The score is now three to three between Brittany Chantel and Live from the City. So Live, you have been keeping busy over the last couple of months uh, and taking on the role of a producer. Why don't you tell us a bit about some of the tracks you've been helping to put together? Yeah, so um, I produced tracks. I think the earliest tracks I produced was for Jordan Montgomery's album, Thank You For Your Purchase, but we are not for sale. Um, I produced Not For Sale, Run It Back, um, Wild West, and um, Half of Queens. Um, as Brittany mentioned, I also co-produced a track uh, with her, with Ryan Tedder. Uh, called Let Me Know, so everybody should check that out. And uh, also for Jay on the Poets album as well, uh, I produced a few tracks on his album, including our single Straight to the Lead, so everybody should check that out, as well as Function, and as well as All I Know. So um, we have all the lead singles for his album. I produced those too, so I've been, you know, staying busy. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, the, the stuff uh, that you mentioned that I've heard uh, so far has been incredible. Now, I hope you guys don't take this the wrong way, but I hope your performance on Britney's new song is a little bit better than your performance on Drive Time today. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. So, we have just arrived at the final round of Drive Time today, and we're doing things a little bit differently. Uh, we've got a new round three, and what we've done in this round is taken some recognizable song lyrics and i omitted a word or two and you gotta fill in the blanks so Brittany, you are up first let's see if you can figure this out acting funny but i don't know why excuse me while i kiss blank you goodbye that is incorrect but it works. Live, what do you think? Excuse me while I kiss the sky? That is correct. You got it. Oh, let's go! The sky, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, Purple Haze. Now, we also would have accepted uh, Excuse me while I kiss this guy, as that is a very popular misheard song lyric in the world of rock and roll. Nice job. All right, question two goes to live first near far wherever you are i believe that the heart does blank i'm gonna go to and say i believe that the heart does Oh, man. Pass. <laughs> Pass. 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 Brittany, what do you think? I feel like I've heard this before. Oh, you have a million times. Truly. Is it? Is it go on? It is go on. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. It's Celine Dion with My Heart Will Go On. Kind of makes you want to take a boat ride, doesn't it? <laughs> Question three goes to Brittany first. All right. No barking from the dog, no smog, and mama cooked the breakfast with no blank. Wow. <laughs> I'm stumped. I'm absolutely stumped on this. See, this is why Live from the City is writing my songs now. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to have to pass. Live, what do you think? And mama cooked the breakfast with no pork. Oh, you're so close. 
so so close but another word for pork that rhymes would be hog that is ice cube it was hot oh today was a good day i knew, oh. I knew the song but i forgot the word i was like oh what's the word for like pigs like and i was just like is it pork? <laughs> So close. Now, uh, apparently somebody with a really big Adderall prescription decided to look into it, and it was determined that based on sports scores and Los Angeles air quality records that Ice Cube's Good Day actually took place on February 23rd, 1993, which is a lot more than I could ever figure out. Last question of the game potentially goes to live. See if you can figure this one out. Ooh, your kisses, sweeter than honey. And guess what? So is my blank. Money. Money is correct. We're talking about Ooh. respect. Uh, I had Aretha Franklin in mind, but it is an Otis Redding song first. He recorded it uh, and wrote it, but... It became Aretha's when she recorded it on Valentine's Day in 1967. Wow. So, after three rounds of play, we are ready to crown a winner. And live from the city, congratulations. You are this week's winner with a score of 13 to 8. Well <laughs> done. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, live. Thank you so much. What an honor. You know what I mean? What an honor. You know what I mean? And a privilege to play such a prestigious sport. I don't know why this is like an Olympic thing or something. You know, it's crazy. Well, we're, we're working on it for the next Olympic year. But in the meantime, uh, we will send you a really nice prize from the WYEP prize closet. So be sure to be nice to your mail carrier. Well, thanks again to our contestants, Brittany Chantel and Live from the City. Be sure to check out their new music. And if you like what you see here, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I want to say thanks to our producer, Nick Wright, and thanks to you for watching and playing along. Tomorrow, we start the second edition of the Lockdown Countdown on WYEP. This listener-voted countdown is inspired by the music that keeps us all afloat while we're practicing physical distancing. You can learn more at WYEP.org. And while you're there, check out past episodes of Drive Time and sign up to be a contestant. From all of us here at, and at home at WYEP, thanks for joining me. I'm Joey Spihar, and I'll see you next week for another episode of Drive Time.